Printify finally did it. They've added the ability for Etsy sellers to include tags in the listing creation process on our listings on the Printify side of things when we are creating a new product listing. So let's take a look at the listing creation process on Printify and see where we can now add our tags. However, there's still a reason we need to go on Etsy and make an update to our listings after we push them from Printify, unfortunately. So we'll talk about that too. All right, so we're gonna dive right in and take a look at this with an example. We're gonna create a sweatshirt here. I've got a design that I threw together here quickly on Kittle using their AI image generator of these cats. It is a Christmas theme design because I took a look on Everbee and did a little quick research and found that cat Christmas shirt has an increasing trend right now and the search volume peaked in November last year. It is currently mid-October, so now would be a good time for me to publish this design. And we're gonna come back here and get some help with the tags in just a second off of a listing that is selling quite a bit here or a couple that are selling quite a bit here. So let's go ahead and create this listing now. I'm gonna do this with a Gildan Heavy Blend Crew Neck Sweatshirt. I normally just copy one of my previous listings so that the, my pricing and the template that I have in my description pulls forward, but I'll go ahead and create this one from scratch. I like to do choose manually here. You can use Printify Choice if you want to, but I like to still do choose manually. And I'm gonna use Monster Digital for this one. All right, my design is uploaded here. Let's get that centered and sized the way we want it. I don't want it too gigantic here, but let's center it. We'll take a look at our preview. I'm only gonna do a white option for this one. We'll keep it simple for the example. Here's our sample. I'll swap this out for realistic looking colors. And I will also add my background so that I can still use this flat mockup in my listing. I'm also gonna grab a couple mockups from Placeit so I can use those. All right, we'll click save there and because this was a brand new listing straight out of the catalog. It's going to take me to the mockup library. Now to save time, I can also upload my own mockups here so I don't have to upload them on the Etsy side of things. So I will go ahead and go to this uploaded by me page and I will click on the upload icon up here in the top left and I'll grab those two mockups that I got from Placeit. All right, somehow I managed to upload the same one twice here. So let's pick these two. We'll get them moved over to the right so that they come through on this listing. We'll go back to the Printify mockups here. I'm gonna get rid of the blank ones that I don't want here. So let's get rid of those. Let's grab the other one that I do want here. And I think we should be good now. So let's go ahead and save this selection and we will move on here. All right, so we already have something that we still have to go do on the Etsy side of things because we couldn't select and adjust our primary thumbnail, so we still have to do that. But let's scroll down here on our listing details and see what we've got. All right, now under the listing details, you can see we still have our title field here, we still have our description field, and now we finally have the tags section here where we can actually put our tags and they will publish over to the Etsy side of things. We also now can also enable personalization. We are gonna have to enter our instructions over on Etsy if we did offer personalization on this because that field is not here, but you can at least enable this option so it comes through with it turned on. This one's not personalized though, so let's go ahead and just populate my title description and then we'll get our tags done. All right, so in my title, I've got the keywords that I care most about. I've got the actual phrase that's on the shirt, Meowy Christmas. I've got cat lover and I've also got Christmas cat shirt in there because that was one of the exact phrases I saw was going to have an increasing trend over the next month and a half or so. All right, so there's my custom description here, just this first couple of sentences. And then I pasted in my template for the rest of the description, which just covers my product information, my production and shipping times and returns policy, as well as the printing process. I like to paste that into all of my descriptions. And then at the bottom, I have covered myself for the Etsy policy for using AI image generators. I have my disclaimer here that the design was created with the assistance of an AI image generator. That is a requirement as of 2024. If we use an AI image generator for our designs, we have to disclose that in the description. All right, now on to the new feature here, let's get our tags. Now I know I want Meowy Christmas in my tag, so I can definitely put that in there, but let me come back over to Everbee here. And I have a couple of listings here that are selling already that show up that have relevant tags here. And I just wanna take a look at what they are using because you know filling out 13 tags, sometimes we just run out of ideas after the first five or six. And it helps to take a look at what other listings are using, especially those that are definitely making sales here. And Everbee makes it nice and easy to see all the tags for these listings as well 
as the search volume for those tags, for those phrases, and the competition level. So you can actually just copy all of the tags from a listing and then edit them the way you want to, or you can actually just click on an individual one and it will copy that tag. Now I'm gonna ignore some of the more generic ones, at least for now, and look for ones that make the most sense for my listing. However, I don't actually want to copy all of these using this feature, and I learned this one the hard way, because what's gonna happen if I use this copy all, the way that Everbee copies them, it does not put a space between them, it puts a comma between them, which works actually if you paste them directly in Etsy, but Printify, at least right now with this first iteration of this, if you paste all of these in here, what happens here is if I did hit enter, it's gonna actually create this as one long run on tag, and it does not prevent you from doing that, even though, this is a tag that is over 20 characters long and it won't work on Etsy. I'll hit enter, see what it did. That is one tag. It saved this as one tag. If I just add another tag, you'll see here's the next tag. It's gonna let me add 13 tags, including this one super long run on one, which now I have to remove and redo. So it, it is not smart enough currently to tell you or prevent you from adding a tag that's over 20 characters long. So if you don't know whether your tags are 20 characters long or not, I would still do this on the Etsy side of things because Printify is gonna let you add a tag that's too long, unfortunately. And actually, even if you put spaces in between these, it's it's still going to consider this as one tag what I enter. For example, here's cat Christmas comma space, and let's say, Santa cat. And if I hit enter, see that it's going to still make that one tag that is too long and that's supposed to be two tags. So this is not definitely not perfect. It is definitely not as clean of a process as just putting them on Etsy. So I'm actually going to finish these on the Etsy side of things. Let me just go down here and hit up my shipping profile and my pricing and then we'll come over to Etsy and see what we still need to do. All right, so here's our listing on the Etsy side of things. And as I mentioned, remember the order of the images and the adjustment of the thumbnail is not something that publishes or comes straight through from Printify, or you can't adjust it on Printify. So we still have to click on edit here, make sure that our primary thumbnail is the image that we want and that we've adjusted it. By the way, how perfect is this? I found one on Placeit that actually has a cat in it. So it's, <laughs> all right, our description is gonna be good and our price and inventory is going to be good because we set that up on Printify. We still, however, need to change the core details here. Under the core details, we need to click on change because this is where we indicate that we have a production partner. It does not come through with that information pre-populated. And Printify has an updated help article here. There has been some debate since the changes on Etsy as to whether you should leave this as I did under who made it, or if you should change this to another company or person. I have seen comments from people saying that Etsy told them to leave it as I did. Someone else told them to change it to another company or person. Historically, we have always changed this to another company or person because we are not physically making the product even though we made the design. Now, one thing to point out is if you do leave it from I did, you can actually scroll down and there are additional options here. Like you can say it is an item that my shop alters, which an example here is a tumbler with a laser engraved design or a tote bag with flowers embroidered on it. That kind of sounds like it's fitting in with print on demand products, right? It's definitely not made from scratch. It's not assembled from purchased parts. It's not a curated set of purchased goods and it's not a natural material. So if we did leave this as I did, we would be selecting it's an item that my shop alters. And then we would still be able to go down and actually check off the box for using it or not check off the box, but select the production partner that we work with on this. So we'd still be able to select Printify, click on done. In theory, this could be an accurate way to list it. Oh, and by the way, I would check the box that I used an AI generator here as well for this design. Okay, but that being said, if you go to Printify's help article about selling on Etsy, it has been updated to reflect the, the updates to the Etsy policies in 2024, including these new categories. Let's just follow Printify's instructions. If you notice, Printify is still telling us select another company or person here. So under step two of their instructions, Printify is telling us to select another company or person under who made it. So I am gonna follow Printify's instructions and I'm gonna keep selecting another company or person. That is what I am personally doing and this is what I have always done, so I am not going to change it. So another company or person it is a finished product, it is made to order, and Printify is my production partner. So I'm gonna click 
on apply. And again, this is something we have to do on the Etsy side of things, cannot do it on the Printify side. So we have to come in here and edit every listing we publish regardless. All right, so let's talk about these tags now. I only actually published one of them. So you can see it did come through from Printify, but because it's kind of clunky on Printify, I am still using Etsy to upload my tags. Let's just demonstrate here what happens if I go and I copied all of those tags from that other listing, the example listing that we found earlier. I didn't have to put a space between them, just the comma was enough to do it. So I've still got Meowie Christmas, but I've got all those other ones on there. Now, I'm actually not going to just copy all of the tags from that other listing. I'm gonna take a look at what was there and then delete a couple of these that I don't wanna use and come up with a couple more of my own. This just makes it a little easier because you're starting from something instead of starting from nothing. You get rid of Happy Christmas. I'm gonna get rid of Christmas gift. I'm going to get rid of Merry Christmas. So now I'm down to needing three more tags and the rest of these actually are relevant to this specific niche and my specific design. So all I have to do is come up with three more tags, which is a lot easier than coming up with 12 tags, which is what I would have had to do because I only just had the one. I had Meowie Christmas in there, but see how that makes it a lot easier. All right, now I didn't want to forget that sometimes people might be searching for kitten instead of cat. So I've got kitten Christmas in here, cute cats and cat dad Christmas because I've got cat mom Christmas in here also. So there we go. I know the word Christmas is repeated more than I would personally like. However, this is a decent arrangement of 13 tags. Sometimes it is just tough to use all 13. All right, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is the same as far as completing our listing on Etsy. I just thought it'd be worth walking through and showing you that new tag feature feature on Printify and how it is not the best yet. I'm glad that they finally added it. However, if you like to copy and paste your list of tags in there and then edit like this, like I did, it is not the best currently because it does not separate them. It just adds them all as one tag. And it also doesn't tell you if your tags are too long like it does right on Etsy. So I personally won't be using that feature on Printify just yet. I'm hoping they improve it so that it works more like the feature does on the Etsy side of things. Until then, we still have things that we need to do over here on Etsy anyway, like adding the production partner. So it's not the end of the world, but maybe someday we'll be able to fully create a listing on Printify and publish it and then not have to come over here and edit it. So I hope that was helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the Print On Demand Insights channel. If you haven't, if you have, thank you so much for your support. I do appreciate it. Thanks everybody. See you next time.